tell Tone it's a real money in the room. You are now tuned into the Bob Report. How long were you operating a successful business in the hood? Which, which successful business? <laughs> how old of the, 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 uh, the spots? Yes, sir. And how many did you have? When I was on that level or when I first started? When you first started. When I first started, we didn't have no houses. We was hand to hand combat. Tony, 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 uh, Tony, Tony and them had to block then. Tony Douglas and them, that's when mm -hmm. they had to block then. The Douglases had to block. Drell had to block. Um, you know, me, Jimmy Woo, I'm up under all, all of them. I'm the, I'm the baby of the block. They don't even want me to do no hustling. They try to send me to school. Man, I don't want to go to school, look, Kevin. But I already had a taste of the hustling. I had to have it. And uh, we was hand to hand combat. We was ready running the cars back then. There wasn't no traps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And guys might get a, a boy and girl house, but they would have to move them so much because the, the laws would hit them so, you know what I'm saying, so fast. So when you, you, you move up in the ranks, you're doing your thing, um, when did you understand that you were the guy? And when did everybody else understand that? I never, I never, I never put myself as the guy, the younger guys around me would depict me as the guy. Dudes from the other side of town would depict me as the guy. I, uh, I wasn't even, I was hustling, it wasn't even hustling to save money. I was just hustling to live in the crib and stuff like that. When me and Boochie was riding every day, I'm gonna hustle and grind, woo woo woo, and do my thing. Until one day, uh, you know, we had the Monaco apartments over there off of Lancaster. Mm -hmm. We had a few spots in Stop Six. We, we probably was 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 was, was the f some of the few crib niggas that that hustled in that area. You know what I'm saying? But that was the adrenaline rush. That was our thing. We thought that we 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 can go hustle. We gonna hustle wherever we want to hustle. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we did. And uh, I was in the Ambassador Apartments one day. And it's in the book too. <laughs> I was in Ambassador door apartments one day, and uh, three blood cats been in the corner. Mm, I think two two of them still alive, and, and, and they know me, and I know them. And uh, when they been in the corner, first thing he said is, "Oh, he ricky this nigga." You know what I'm saying? So when he did that, I'm sitting there with my brother's baby mama, and I'm sitting there with my baby mama. This is when we wore the big clothes. Mm -hmm. We had the big clothes on. We had the, <laughs> had, you know what I'm saying? But I had just lead a gun range. You know, I had my gun license. As soon as I turned 21, I went and got my gun license. I never had a record. Yeah. So I had my gun license. I probably was the first, well, I know I was the first young black man in Fort Worth to have his gun license. So I just left the, the shooting range, man. And it's three of them. And, and <laughs> it's one way in, one way out. So when they ride by me, in order for them to come back out, they got to come back by me. You feel me? And 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 then with uh, when <laughs> when he been the corner and, and, and called me and he ricked it. First thing my baby mama said was, "Come on, kid, she a blood." My baby mama's a blood. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, I got. Man, like four that, that happens often, man. In Fort Worth, a lot of the cross town uh. Stop six kid dad is be from the south side and vice versa. I got versa. four. I got four baby mamas from Stop Six. See what I'm saying, man. <laughs> and so, uh, so she was like, "Come on, Kevin, come on." I like, man, I ain't going nowhere. Y'all chicken, y'all going over there? It was my sister chicken and and my baby mama. And uh, I made them go in the breeway. So as soon as the dude get out the car, he. So, Hey, what you looking at me like that for, homie? This nigga out of California, supposed to be them niggas OG. Mm. I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna name no names. It's supposed to be them niggas OG, so he get out. What you looking at me like that for, homie? I, I up my thing, go to getting at him right then. You know what I'm saying? So they shooting, I'm shooting. But they shooting wild. They pop, 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 pop. You know what I'm saying? He run, they run out of bullets. They run off and lead this one little nigga. They run off and lead this one little nigga. And I run up to him and give it to him. 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, he take off running. I'm out of bullets. One of the homies come bring me a pump. I jack the joint off, go to chasing the nigga. The nigga run up in the, in these bras apartment. You know how the one bedroom and fifty apartments is. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? In the, you know what I'm saying? In the, in the, in the poverty, in, in the poverty field areas, how it look. You can look at the front door and look right to the back of the, yeah. uh, of, of the what you call it. So, I jump in front of her door with that thing, and I look in a, in a house. I see some red chucks. You know what I'm saying? All the way to the bedroom, but like hanging out half a month by the bed. First thing she said was, nah, Kevin, my kid's in here. I snap. I said, man, you go in here and kill this nigga. You go in the penitentiary forever. I said, all right, yeah, your kid's in here. All right. You, you, I don't know nothing. I don't, I, when I heard that, I jumped in the car and bounced. And this is how I knew my mama was a fool. <laughs> I'm glad that, 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 that God had softened her heart. <laughs> but she's still a fool right now, though. But uh, I leave right there on Lancaster. I'm look, now you know where Lancaster is? You know where the old uh, Foot Lock used to be? Yep. Right there on Lancaster in yep. Tyranny. Mm -hmm. I'm up, going up Lancaster. I bust a left on Miller. This right after the shootout or whatever. I bust a left on Miller. By the time I get to Barry, mama calling my phone. I'm like, mom, what's up? She said, you know them boys got hit? They say two of them boys got hit. You know, soon as she say that, I go into defense mode. Man, they were shooting at me first, mama, some, 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 some. She said, I'm just telling you, I'm not worried about them. Excuse me. She said, I'm telling you, I'm not worried about them. F them. I hope they dead. They trying to kill you. They ought to be dead. This I knew that. <laughs> mom, moms was on something different. I had a different kind of mama. <laughs> so, uh... I was like, yes, ma'am, woo woo. So right now today, I still, still yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Well, I ain't, I ain't never cussed in front of her, but I don't cuss in front of her. Mother. So uh, that's when I, I realized that, that moms was unique. And that's when it all started. And I wasn't even trying to, I wasn't even trying to save money. And then after I, I thought I was gonna get to go to jail for shooting that boy. I went to the hood and started saving for my my bond. Mm -hmm. I looked up, I got ten thousand put up. Ten thousand wasn't nothing to have. I done had ten thousand a hundred times, but I had ten thousand put up, and I'm still playing with like ten and fifteen in the street with the work. I save up to like about forty, fifty thousand right quick in a matter of a month and a half, two months. I'm like, dang, you know what I'm saying? But then that's when, and that's also when I realized that these people knew I had shot that boy you know what i'm saying and the police never came one police jammed me up and was like uh spencer yeah we know you shot that boy nigga, i ain't shot nobody nigga. i don't know what you talk about yeah we know you shot him but we ain't worried about it. we gonna leave you out here they gonna kill you i said they gonna kill who they gonna kill you I said nigga's gonna be a body count they ain't killing me you know what i'm saying that was where my mind was at the time bro you know what i'm saying like i feel like i was that nigga, when you, when, you know, the question you asked earlier about being that nigga, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's because I was lost mentally, though. It wasn't because I was tough of them, but it was lost because I was lost mentally. I lost my way, and with losing my brother was, you know what I'm saying, a little additive to me losing my way. Hey, real tone, there's some real money in the room.